Okay, we have here a robot. This is the left motor, right motor. The output for the left motor is connected to a voltmeter. So we will write the code to control the motors of this robot. So in this setup, we need to send signals to pins 5 and 9 for the left motor and 6 and 10 to control the right motor. So let us set the names for each pin so we don't have to memorize the number. So we will create a constant variable. So first is L motor A, short for left motor pin A or pin 1. Connected to digital pin 5 or PWM pin 5. Second pin is connected to pin 9. And for the second set, we have 6 and 10. So we have 4 pins, all PWM pins, and all of them should be set to output pin mode. motor A set to output same with the second pin same goes with the right motor okay so let's try and make the left motor spin send a signal to the first pin or we'll set the PWM of the left pin or the first pin maximum is 255 And we make sure that the signal for the other pin is zero or low. This is also the same with this statement. So you can just say digital light L motor low or zero. Or analog right L motor B zero. So they mean the same thing. So we'll make the motor spin for a while, delay for five seconds, and then let's set all signals to zero. And then let's prevent the loop from being performed so here while through do nothing so this will be a forever pause so again the left motor should move forward maximum speed or maximum power rather Make sure that the other pin is always zero. And wait for five seconds. And then set everything to zero. And pause. Let's check. Let's upload. A 
as you can see. Left motor moves for 5 seconds. Let's double check the amount of power being sent. So remember, 255 is maximum, which means that all available power will be sent to the left motor. Okay, but please take note that the motor is rated 6 volts. It's not as possible to not send power which is beyond 6 volts. But for short periods of time, that will be okay. Now this time, let's make the motor move in reverse. So I'll set the first pin to 0 and I can set the other pin to 255 maximum or I can just say 127 or 128 for 1.5 let's upload the code again okay so if I will make it move again forward but in this case, I'll set it to one half. Let us check the amount of power being sent to the left motor. Okay. For the right motor, we can just do the same. set everything to zero for stop so both motors should run now and stop okay 